Right friends, welcome back to New Set Glands for 34th week and uh, let us uh, look at event by event. First one is a newly renovated uh, store palace, the other name for it is a star palace or Kasri E star. This was inaugurated and this was originally built during the reign of uh, Amir Abdul Rahman Khan in 1880 and now restoration was done through public private partnership model with the Aga contrast in 4 years. So, this is the third one which was inaugurated in recent times with India's assistance. If you want uh, two more items, all of you are well aware there is a Salma Dam or otherwise known as Afghan India Friendship Dam. This was inaugurated recently at the same time parliament building was also inaugurated. So, after Salma Dam, parliament building, then this is store palace, these are built with India's assistance in Afghanistan. And if you look at the second one, longest serving Singapore President S. R. Nathan passed away at the age of 92 and he was closely associated with the country's founding father Lee Kuan Yew and he was the sixth and the longest serving president in the history of Singapore from 1999 to 2011. Please do not forget Singapore is one of the Asian countries. Please look into this slide. This is situated adjacent to Malaysia and at the same time please do not forget Malacca Strait is situated between Malaysia and Indonesia which is clearly evident from this slide and most of the traffic towards East Asia, Southeast Asia flows through Malacca Strait. Right. Look into the next one. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj visited Myanmar and called on the State Councillor and Foreign Minister Aung San Suu Kyi as well as the President Tin Kya. And instantly the head of the government Aung San Suu Kyi decided to visit China first and as such our external affairs minister immediately went to Myanmar and Myanmar assured India that it will not allow any insurgent activity on its territory against India. And please do not forget Myanmar shares border with four Indian states. One is Arunachal Pradesh followed by Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram. Please do not forget. Looking to the next one, India is in seventh position in total individual wealth at 5600 billion dollars. This was released by New World Wealth recently and please do not forget if you calculate the total individual wealth, the first position is the United States of America is much ahead of other countries with the 48,900 billion dollars followed by China with 17,400 billion dollars, then Japan 15,100 billion dollars. So, America is much ahead in comparison to other countries and India's position is 7th with 5,600 billion dollars, please do not forget. Asset quality review, what is the meaning of asset quality review? The Reserve Bank of India some time back started this asset quality review with iron hand. In fact, this is synonymous with the tenure of Raghuram Rajan and the main focus of this asset quality review is to classify various non-performing assets and at the same time to ensure necessary provisioning. That is why in recent times several public sector banks are showing losses. So, this asset quality review is basically to identify NPAs and classify them and at the same time to ensure provisioning and this asset quality review will clean up the balance sheets by March 2017 as per the target given by the Reserve Bank of India. 12 day Krishna Pushkaram came to an end on August 23rd, they started on August 12th and came to an end on August 23rd and Andhra Pradesh and Telangana made elaborate arrangements. And when you talk about Krishna river, it flows through four states of India, please do not forget. Maharashtra, then Karnataka, then Telangana, then Andhra Pradesh. If someone talks about birthplace of uh, Krishna river, 
Mahabaleshwar in Maharashtra is the birthplace, whereas it enters Bay of Bengal at a place called Hamsala Devi in Andhra Pradesh. And please do not forget important projects like uh, Almatti, then Jurala, Sri Shailam, Nagarjuna Sagar, Pulichintala, these are all situated on River Krishna, please do not forget. Maharashtra and Telangana signed an agreement for construction of three irrigation projects on Godavari, Pranhita and Penganga. And here three projects will be constructed. One is Chanaka Korata will be built on Penganga river. At the same time, Tumidihatti barrage will be built on Pranahita and for optimum utilization of Pranhita and Godavari river waters, main barrage will come up at Medigadda near Kaleswaram temple shrine in Telangana. Right friends, it is a good development because the first meeting of interstate board was held recently in Mumbai between Telangana and Maharashtra. First convocation ceremony of Nalanda University was held at Rajgir Bihar on August 27. President of India was the chief guest. Degrees were conferred to 12 students of first batch. Please do not forget this university or you can say the modern university started last year and now foundation stone was laid for the first phase of 455 acre campus. And the beauty of the construction of this campus is it will be green building, it will not add anything to greenhouse gas. Amnesty International India recently held an event in Bengaluru. The name of the event is Broken Families. It is the multi city campaign to seek justice for the victims of human rights violations in JK. And in recent times, because of uh, Armed Forces Special Powers Act, there are uh, news reports that certain human rights violations are taking place in Jammu and Kashmir. And recently, Amnesty International India is uh, holding events across the country with the name Broken Families. And if someone talks about Amnesty International, it is uh, with headquarters in London. Established in 1961, founder is Peter Benenson. It is a non-governmental organization focused on human rights violations and at present across the world there are 7 million members, please do not forget. Two-day conference of BRICS Women Parliamentarians Forum was held in Jaipur and please do not forget various conferences are being held and ultimately in the month of October. BRICS summit will be held at Goa, please do not forget. And Women Parliamentarians Forum called for women's involvement in the development process to ensure inclusive growth. Look at the next one, Minister of State for External Affairs, M. J. Akbar visited Lebanon, Syria and Iraq. This three countries, Lebanon, Syria and Iraq are part of organization of Islamic cooperation. This organization of Islamic cooperation is headquartered in Saudi Arabia. It is started in the year 1969. As per the organization's words, it speaks for the collective voice of Muslim community across the world. And recently, 57 member organization of Islamic cooperation spoke of human rights violations and excessive violence in Kashmir. And in this context, our Minister of State for External Affairs, M. J. Akbar visited Lebanon, Syria and Iraq. And please do not forget these three countries are part of organization of Islamic cooperation. If you look at the issues pertaining to states, Telangana government is contemplating industrial health clinics for sick units. To look at the rehabilitation or to look at the revival of sick units, industrial health clinics are proposed. The government we are talking about is Telangana, please do not forget. West Bengal Assembly recently passed a resolution to change the name of state from West Bengal to Bangla in Bengali, Bengal in English. Bengal in Hindi. So, in future the state will be called Bangla in Bengali and subject to the ratification by the center, center has to ratify it. 
If you look at other issues, Assam became the first state to ratify GST bill, please do not forget and 500 Amma gyms at a cost of rupees 50 crore and 500 Amma parks at a cost of rupees 100 crore will come up in Tamil Nadu. Each gym will cost rupees 10 lakh, each park will cost rupees 20 lakh. Maharashtra ordered probe into the disappearance of iconic tiger Jai. This iconic tiger Jai disappeared from Umrate Karhandla Wildlife Sanctuary near Nagpur. This is situated nearer to Nagpur and Bhandara in Maharashtra and Maharashtra government ordered a probe in view of the disappearance of iconic tiger Jai and this seven year old tiger is missing since April 18, 2016. And another development, if you look at Maharashtra, Maharashtra unveiled 750 kilometer super communication highway. In future, there is a super communication highway will come up between Mumbai and Nagpur, which has got a distance of around 750 kilometers and it will cost rupees 46,000 crores of rupees and it will be the state of art road project to be completed in three years. And Maharashtra became the first state in the country to sign MOU with the center to develop 10 airports under regional connectivity scheme. So, if someone talks about the first state which passed the GST bill that is Assam, the first state which signed with the center with regard to regional connectivity scheme that is Maharashtra, please do not forget. The second state is Jharkhand, the third one is Gujarat, please do not forget and 10 interior airports will be developed in Maharashtra under regional connectivity scheme and at the same time I would like to remind you per hour the airfare will be pegged at rupees 2500 as per this regional connectivity scheme basically to integrate interior airports in the country. Andhra Pradesh became the first state in the country to launch a DNA profiling of criminals. Look into the other news, women judges make up around 10 percent of total strength in high courts and for statistical information, I have given certain facts here, please look into them. Supreme Court sanctioned strength is 31, operating is 28 and a woman judge is just 1. If you look at high courts, a sanctioned strength is 1079, operated just 595. That means, around 40 percent of the judges posts in high courts are lying vacant and out of 595 operated cadre, women constitute just 61 or you can say around 10 percent. Mumbai Pune Expressway is being monitored by drones for traffic violations, basically to identify drivers who violate traffic rules and regulations. Please look into this slide, drones are being used to identify errant drivers. United Nations Joint Investigation Mechanism found that President Bashar al-Assad's forces carried out at least two chemical attacks in Syria. The device dropped matched with the characteristics of chlorine at the same time. Islamic State used sulphur mustard and please do not forget, all the chemical weapons are banned as per the International Convention. And if you want more, please listen to news capsule. India and the United States of America recently signed Logistics Exchange Memorandum of Agreement or popularly known as the LEMO. And with this, India is inching towards long term military cooperation with the United States of America. And if you want more about LEMO, please listen to news capsule. Gujarat will host 2016 Kabaddi World Cup and 12 teams are going to be participating in this and it will be held from October 7 to October 22 in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Look into the next one, we observe World Mosquito Day on August 20. Please look into the slide, he is Ronald Ross. Sir Ronald Ross in the year 1897 identified that female Anopheles mosquitoes transmit malaria. 
basically to commemorate this historic discovery, August 20 is celebrated as World Mosquito Day. Hindi scholar and writer Sunita Jain was conferred with the 25th Vyas Samman Award. I would like to tell you few things. This Vyas Samman Award, the Saraswati Samman Award, these two are constituted by K. K. Birla Foundation in 1991. And if you look at this Vyas Samman Award, this is given for outstanding literary work in Hindi published during the past 10 years by an Indian citizen. And this carries a monetary award of rupees 2.5 lakhs. And Sunita Jain was awarded for her poetry collection, Kshama, published in 2008. Look into the next one German Corporation for International Cooperation and India's Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship signed an agreement to improve workplace based occasional training in India's industrial clusters. And initially, they will be implemented in three industrial clusters, which include automobile cluster in Maharashtra and electronics cluster in Bengaluru. Look into the next one, Union Government launched Accessible e-Library. The name of Accessible e-Library is Sugamya Pustakalaya. This is basically for Divyangs. It is online library with the multiple accessible formats. and. This is developed in association with the National Institute for Visually Handicapped and this is based in Dehradun, please do not forget. And it is part of Accessible India campaign or you can say Sugamya Bharat Abhiyan. Basically, the purpose of Sugamya Bharat Abhiyan or Accessible India campaign is to look at the infrastructure created to take care of the special needs of disabled people. And as a part of this Accessible India campaign or Sugamya Bharat Abhiyan, this Accessible e-Library, Sugamya Pustakalaya was launched for Divyangs. It is basically online library and please do not forget, this Sugamya Bharat Abhiyan is monitored by Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment and Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment is Tawar Chand Gehlot, please do not forget. NCS, this is National Career Service. This signed memorandum of understandings with the strategic partners for enhancing quality and reach of employment services. What is the purpose of this National Career Service? It is basically a platform for not only job seekers, but also job providers, skill developers, career counselors at free of cost. It was launched in 2015, launched by Ministry of Labor and Employment, Information and Communication Technology based portal to provide wide variety of employment related services. Right now, they signed Memorandum of Understanding with the strategic partners for enhancing quality and reach of employment services. BRICS countries adopted Udaipur Declaration on Disaster. There are two things which were discussed in Udaipur declaration. One is flood risk management, second one is forecasting extreme weather events in the context of changing climate and BRICS will set up a dedicated joint task force. Look into the next one, South India's first children court was inaugurated in Hyderabad. This is the facility after similar ones existing at Delhi and Goa. In view of the debacle of shooters in Rio de Janeiro Olympics, National Rifle Association of India constituted a five member review committee headed by Abhinav Bindra. Please do not forget, Abhinav Bindra got gold medal in 2008 Beijing Olympics. Right friends, with this let us conclude news at a glance. Please do join for other modules and capsules. Have a nice day. Thank you.